really? Come on, Hop. You don't see me using potions in the middle of battles. Like, disregard the battle I had against Leon, that totally didn't count because that was hard, but... Sonya, Sonya, calm down, calm down! If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid looking bot- <laughs> I'm actually scratching my head and just cringing so hard right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another bonus episode of my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. We are currently doing the post-game episode and it involves chasing around two uh, goons dressed in weird clothing and with weirdly styled hair across the Galar region to stop them causing trouble and then just find out why they're doing it and everything. Last episode we made it all the way to Turfield Stadium again and uh, took on the Dynamax Serena that they just left there to run wild. So let's just see what's going to happen this time. Let's just get into it. And there's a cutscene as soon as I walk out. Okay, you, you, you. You, real, you really don't look happy, Sonya. Ah, there you are, Jess. Things are ripe for a mess. Just when I thought the Galar particle count around Turfield had calmed down, I started getting huge Galar particle readings from Holbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So, what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? We need to be honest. We just need to tell her what happened and not exaggerate it. What? A Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Huh. Those Sword and Shield weirdos did it. I'm just gonna shorten it to weirdos because it's just so long to say Sword and Shield weirdos all the time, but... Those weirdos did it. Oh, Sonya! Hmm? Hop and... Piers? Piers, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back in Spikemouth? I'm an extreme leader. I can be wherever I want. It's not that weird. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums? Yes, I'm getting the same readings in other towns as I was from Turfield Stadium. She looks so distressed. Things she just needs to do, just sit down, have a nice hot mug of English tea or Earl Grey with a couple of hobnobs on the side. Maybe a Cheeky slice of Victoria sponge as well. I'm worried about mine. Oh my god, his face! I couldn't even finish that line. <laughs> I'm worried about Marnie. <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting that. Oh no. I'm actually crying right now. That was that was so unexpected and hilarious. Ah, but Spike with Jim should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Holbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. Ah, I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, Jess? Let's head to one of the stadiums. Heh, that's a spirit champion. Leave those weirdos to me. I can poke around the net for sightings of them. We'll leave the researching to this, uh... Sonia, was it? We should get to the other stadiums and help out. Okay, okay. And teleportation time. And we are now at Holbury Stadium. With everyone's favourite waifu, Nessa. Except the people that change her skin colour because they are closet racists. Don't get too close you lot, things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation, are the staff and spectators alright? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. 
Leave us alone. He actually looks distraught. Oh my god. Leave him alone. We came here to help you out. And I'm grateful for it. That Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it would give me trouble. I'd feel a lot more confident about it if you all joined the battle. Let's do it. Please don't be a wishy-washy. I really hope it's not a wishy-washy. Okay, it's Gabido, is it? Arguably worse, I guess. I... Oh well, it it doesn't matter too much. Why does Hop have a Cinderace? Seriously. Okay, let's just take this thing down. And there's that terrifying cry again. Okay, this is one strong Gyarados. Oh no. Okay, good. It didn't attack me. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, Hulk, why are you so useless? What? Oh my god, why do we have to use Hulk? Why can't we just use Leon? Like, at least Leon would actually do something. <laughs> and now your Cinderace is dead. I, uh, I hope you're happy with yourself, Hop. You useless pile of garbage. I'm sorry, I should stop being mean to Hop. Sometimes I just can't help it though because he he just makes questionable decisions. There we go. Good job, Nessa. Good job, Piers. And good job to my Neuvern as well. Good job, me. I would say good job to Hop, but he he's kind of he's kind of useless. Let's be honest. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt, and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Hopefree Stadium until it can fully recover. Jess. If you ever need my help, just let me know. I got Nessa's Red League card. I suppose I'll see you later then. Thank you so much for your help, truly. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look at their League cards. Okay, Game Freak totally knew what they were doing with this character. Come on, how could you not? How could you deny Game Freak knew exactly what they were doing with this female? character. I know it's Pokemon and it's not that risque but I guess as far as Pokemon goes it's kind of well not really but it's a little bit flirty from what people have been saying. Oh hey ball guy. Stop dancing. Okay so I need to go to Kabu's gym now right? Which is it? Yeah, it's in Motestoke, so... Okay, and we are at this place now because teleporting is always cool. Hey Dad! How are you doing? Champion Jess and Piers and Hop too! 
Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remember me. Of course I do. You two were red hot after all. I'll never forget seeing you after, after you completed your first leg of the gym challenge. Don't think we've really got the time for a friendly chinwag. Right, actually the situation's getting pretty bad over the stadium. Yeah, that'd be why we're here. Ah, oh, brilliant. The opponent's a bit too much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. But with you all at my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter by the minute. Let's begin. Okay, Dad. I, if you guys didn't know, Kabu is my dad. Like, it's totally obvious because we definitely have the same hair colour. Why do I insist on keeping Black Star at the start of my party? Like, she isn't going to do very well in this. But, guess I've got no choice but to just get on with it. So, Max, Max Wormwind. I also wish I caught her in a different Pokeball, but a little bit too late now. Okay, this toehold is kind of bulky. Ugh. And also, why did I not hear a lot? What is wrong with me? Why would I not heal up my Pokemon? I'm a dum dum apparently. Okay, that did some nice damage. Once again, sorry if I sound congested, but I'm a little ill at the moment and I kind of am congested, so you're just gonna have to Put up with it, I'm afraid. Sorry. Also, as it's near Christmas, if you guys really want to share, what are you getting or what are you getting people in your family or your friends? I'm curious to know. I share what I'm getting for uh, my uh, boyfriend and my family but they watch these videos so I don't want them to be spoiled but one of the presents I got for my boyfriend that he already has is Astral Chain uh, because he was like constantly talking about him for weeks or something so we were in a game store and I thought why not so I just bought it and that's one of his early Christmas presents. He won't tell me what he's got for me though, so I'm a little bit scared and... ...worried that I won't like it, but I'm sure I will. Like, he knows me well enough now, I guess. Looks like we... Oh, I also beat the talk call. <laughs> I didn't realise. Looks like we were able to extinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here until it gets its energy back. And just should you ha have need of my help, don't hesitate to ask. I got Kabu's Rare League card. Sorry, I got my dad's Rare League card. Don't worry, I know you all have more work that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, youth. So I wish you well. Bye, Dad! Beep, beep, beep. Uh oh, what, what's this? Hey Jess, is that your Rotom phone ringing? Jess, we've got trouble. Those two weirdos have showed up at the lab. What? Sonia, are you alright? They keep rudely demanding I hand over wishing stars. I'm alright for now, but get over here quick, okay? These guys are so creepy. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? We've got to help Sonia and get back the rusted shield. Let's hurry to the lab. He really doesn't think anything through. 
Sure does make him seem like a proper fool. Nah, guess the word would be reckless. We're headed to the Pokemon lab next, right? Guess I'll stick by you until we see this through. Also, I'm attempting to do voices, but I'm not very good at it, I don't think, so... Let me know if you just want me to talk normally or attempt to do voices, but I'm a little bit paranoid about uh, just sounding monotonous and just basically exactly the same when I do the voices of characters. Your uniform number is super popular. Is it? I... Okay. Oh, let's have a look at my dad's lead card. Wow. My dad is angry. Look at that face. Well, I wouldn't say angry, just, I guess, fired up. My dad is fired up. I should probably still calling him my dad now. And we're back. That was quite a trek from Motorstoke all the way back here, but we made it. So let's just go rescue Sonya from these goons. We know all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had gathered are here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight to, into such things. You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, you tell them, Sonya. Well, technically I'm telling them in my monotonous... Every voice sounds the same kind of voice, even if they're supposed to be shouting. I don't know how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving them to you. That's right, you can never understand how important those wishing stars are. You have no need for them. Goodness, whatever should we do, younger brother? It would certainly seem we have been inconvenienced, older brother. These guys are just clowns. That's so annoying. Sonya and the Professor are the ones who have been inconvenienced here. Hop! Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will? You've gone way out of bounds here. And I still haven't forgotten about getting the shield back either. Well, well, well. I certainly thought the champion would come, but I didn't think a loser would follow. Yeah, sorry guys. Like, he, he's... A little bit faster than I am, so... My my bad. Must I have you once again taste the flavour of a humiliating defeat? Don't let those goons put you down. Yeah, exactly, you tell him, Sonya. That's right. You lost the battle, but don't lose that rocking spirit. R right We'll fight them together. Yes, thank you. First things first, let's get these weirdos out of here. Weirdos? Oh, how they wow me, older brother. To be called so terrible a thing as weirdos by these ruffians. Indeed. To address royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot, will not be forgiven. This time I've brought much stronger Pokemon to thoroughly trounce you with. <sighs> These guys annoy me. I just want them to be gone now. Bronzong and Galisapod. Okay, they weren't kidding. They did bring stronger Pokemon. Oh well, it's all good. I just set up with sword stands. And then proceed to just knock them both out. I thought, I thought Gallade was kind of fast, but apparently he's really slow. Interesting. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, it's got an emergency exit. Okay. Do blade. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Extra sensory. Bye, double. No one likes you. Unless those people are Welsh, in which case they really like you. A little bit too much. Okay, so let's use Dream Punch on Bronzong. Hopefully it should knock it out. Unless he decides to knock out Bronzong. Okay, good. He is good for something after all. Good job, Galahad. Okay. Yeah, it's actually kind of slow. Uh, okay. Sure. Well, isn't that just fantastic? When I say fantastic, I mean like super annoying and inconvenient. Balance. Interesting. Let's just get rid of this. Good job, Blackstar. Also, if you guys don't know, uh, Blackstar is a type of amplifier, and because Noivern and Noibat are like, have literal speakers as ears and use sound based moves as well. I thought naming them after an amplifier would be fitting because well why not? Mostly because I don't know what any of the, what other kinds of names would suit them either but it is what it is. Can you just die already? Apparently not, okay, that's that's cool, thanks. Did you really miss a pyro ball? I feel sorry that Cinderace has such a weak trainer. And then Black Star gets knocked out immediately afterwards, but It's because Blackstar is fragile and I guess, I, I don't know. Okay, Paprika, let's do this. Look at this adorable fluff bot. Fled lips on the cling clang. Never mind. Why does everything just exist to be an inconvenience to me? Okay, you actually have a good Pokemon. Not sure why you didn't use it earlier, but... Oh well. Good job, Hop. You did good. Also, I really wish Flareon got better moves. Like, the best moves you can learn is probably Super Power and Flare Blitz. But, if you compare it to, like, Arcanine, who can learn moves like. Outrage and Wild Charge, I believe, then it kind of... Flareon kind of sucks. I should have used an Arcanine. But... 
it's a little bit too late now. I can't exactly change my team. Well, I can, but... Quite the victim predicament indeed, older brother. Surely this must be some kind of mistake, wouldn't you say, younger brother? I hate these guys, they're so annoying. Why did Game Freak this was a really good idea? I did it! We won! We really won! The exquisite Pokemon we trained actually lost? Harumph. Okay, are you a sulking dog now? You only won because you two teamed up. Still, we offer you Ruffy and Sour praise. Oi, the two of you teamed up too. Give back the shield and stop forcing Pokemon to be crazy. Ah, sorry, is this a bad time? My apologies for the intrusion. Those men are dangerous, be careful. Oh no. Well done, your infiltration mission was a resounding success it seems. Have you gathered the wishing stars? Yes, thanks to Master Swordwood and Shieldbert buying me so much time. I knew there was something going on. Like, why would Sonya just suddenly have someone who wants to work for her just randomly? It makes no sense. I knew there was an agenda. What? Stop, give back those wishing stars. Oh dear, it would seem we've been completely hard. Well, I guess there's nothing for it but to just calm down and have a nice mug of steaming hot Earl Grey with a really nice big thick slice of Victoria sponge, wouldn't you say? I'm gonna go put the kettle on. Like, please don't make a mess and please don't be too loud. Wah hee hee ho ho. Right. Why, this moment is so sweet, I don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. Like, don't put sugar in tea. I used to do that a lot as a kid and it's just, it's not very pleasant. As you get older you realise, like, the bitterness of tea without sugar is enough to fuel the bitterness inside of you, so you need to just keep drinking it without sugar. Our battle with you was just a little trick. We'd won before you grabbed a single Pokeball. And with that, farewell. Oh, you are just... Horrible. Why? Professor Sonia, I'm sorry. Was it everything... Was it all alive? I've... Oh my god, she's so sad! That actually hit me right in the heart a little bit, like... Don't be sad. There is no helping it, it was necessary for the plan. Our plan to put Galar under the control of the royal lineage once again. Sonya! Oh no. That's so sad. Those guys are just horrible people. Okay, I'm the champion. Come and talk to me. Any problem you have, I can fix. My Pokemon are strong enough. What's wrong? Are you, are you channeling your inner red now? Seems that lot did have something to back up all their big talk. Go drink your tea. Damn. That's rough. Wait, don't just leave without saying anything. Oh my god, she actually looks like she's about to cry. But you were upset. We didn't want to say anything to make it worse. We were trying to be considerate, but... Of course I'd be down on myself. It was my fault that I got tricked by Nicked in Wooloo's clothing. Really? But 
that's it. No more feeling sorry for myself. That lot made off like bandits with all the wishing stars. It'd be awful if they were used for some evil purpose, so there's no time to be feeling down. Oh. You've got some guts. Oh, I've had my tea now. I need to come back and see you all. You've certainly grown strong in the face of adversary, dearie. Gran, where's my tea? Drinking tea draws out the true strength from the trust between a Pokemon and their trainer. But that group is likely pouring the tea particles emitted by the wishing kettle into po- Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing this now. Emitted by the wishing stars into Pokemon, forcing them to drink tea. I said I was going to stop, but I couldn't resist. That's awful. Indeed, what an awful thing to do to Pokemon. The breath of the tea was just a start. Things could get worse from here on. But why? What reason could they have for forcing Pokemon to drink tea? Those coffee drinkers said they wanted to reveal the true natures of Zacian and Samazanta. I'm curious about what my former assistant said about a royal lineage. Did she mean it literally? Those despicable coffee drinkers. Ah, Jess, look at your town map. I'm detecting huge reactions at four stadiums now. There's tea everywhere. They certainly get around, don't they? Those... Those abominable coffee drinkers. If there's trouble at the stadiums, then money could be in a real bad way. P.S. Oh my god! Um. Ah, Spikeman seems to be okay. There's no power spot stadium there. Righto. Jess, this is no time to be lying about drinking tea. If Pokemon are in trouble, why are we still here? Let's get right out there to lend a hand and take our tea back. I'm sorry to leave it all to you, but you'll have to take care of the Dynamax Pokemon. I'll search for those weirdos in the meantime. Okay, I think that about wraps it up for today, guys. I've decided to do these bonus episodes in parts, because otherwise I feel like it's going to be a super long episode, and I don't want to take up, like... 3-4 hours of people's time for one video so I'm gonna end it here and probably in the next episode do the rest of the gyms or power spots so if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up button turn on the bell to stay up to date and receive notifications of uh, future videos subscribe for let's plays I'm doing in the future I've actually got one I am 90% sure about doing at the moment and then I have another one planned for the spring so it's going to be a big one so if you want to stay up to date and uh, be notified of that then yeah subscribe and I will see you guys next time.